Are you gotta be fucking kidding me? Who needs sleep anyway? I was originally planned to call it a day, but something comes up. Emperor Sabot has been DMing me on the PSN message. Again. But this time, he showed me a screenshot of Review Tech USA made a, a Quatrum TV versus the Ackman situation update, and apparently YouTube just went over backwards and side with Quattrum TV instead. What? What the fuck? Yes, you heard that correctly, and no, today is still not April Fool's Day. Apparently, YouTube decides to basically side with Quattrum TV, even though despite the fact there's lots of evidence to back up our statement that he's abusing the copyright system, ban evading, lots of shady shit. But no, YouTube's way of thinking says, oh, as long as he he can break as many community guidelines as he wants, as long as he deletes those original videos, so that's a-okay. And I was like, what the fuck was that bullshit? I, why? Just why? What? Like, YouTube, what the fuck is the point of these community guidelines and TOS if any, but any content creator could just simply delete the video that were originally break the community guidelines? Which is ridiculous. Now that any content creator can do that. Just because Quantum TV does it. So, let's read the tweet, read the screenshot that the Ackman has sent to us. Hi, Ackman. I understand the urgency and appreciate your patience while our specialist team conducted as thorough review of the content you share with us. After thoroughly reviewing the additional YouTube links you sent to us, our specialist team did not find any violations in our community guidelines. And I was like, are you fucking kidding me, YouTube? It was right there. I mean, just because Quartum TV delete the video, that makes it a-okay for him to get away with it. But let's just continue reading. Regarding your claims of abusive takedown requests, I can also confirm our copyright team reviewed all the details you provided and determined that there is no violations. YouTube, am I going blind over here? His video completely proves his backup claim that Quattrum TV break the community guidelines. Are you this tone deaf? Oh, Jesus Christ, let's just read a bit further. The copyright submission made by the other creator were valid and true. They may have been rejected. They were considered a fair request for review. In line of our copyright policy, whenever a copyright submission is accepted, we give an affected party a chance to submit a counter notification. Yeah, um, about that, uh, YouTube. Quantum still breaks the TOS. I don't know how much clearer we can get. Even all the evidence we back up our claims. I just don't know why you're siding with Quadrum TV at this point. But let's just continue reading. I understand it is not the outcome you are looking for, but I want to re reveal it. I may have pronounced that one, I apologize. Our specialist team investigate the claims you shared and our decision stands. If you would like to schedule a phone call to share additional feedback about your experience on YouTube, then let, uh, let me know, but note that our phone call discussion will not ch change our decision as outlined above. Like, you cannot be fucking serious, YouTube. After all the 
screenshots and video footage, he still got away with it. I guess YouTube just being YouTube again. Being dumb as always. I... Uh, before I wrap this video up, Yakman made a Twitter video, so we might as well have to end it here. So, yeah. Quattrum TV has gotten away with it. God damn it. These are dark times, where the law has been reduced to rubble, and it's up to us to restore it to its former glory. Yeah, I know what you mean. It looks like YouTube finally decided where they stand. Yeah, it's for this very reason I returned. Time to bring it to an end.